you were lucky. I, somebody hit them and I found them. So yeah. it was meant for you. What's up, you guys? It's Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. Coming at you today with another video. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, Goodwill Ben's thrift, thrift with me hidden camera GoPro strap thing. Uh, but I also want to talk about a quick hack I had. I have some shoes that I want to return to Goodwill, but in the process of cleaning them, I took the stickers off. And then once I cleaned them, I realized they weren't in that great a condition. But in order to return them to the store, they have to have the stickers. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a way that I can, you can take the stickers off cleanly and save them to reapply. Should be a fun video today. It's Independence Day, 4th of July. And uh, so happy Independence Day to you. And let's just, let's just get into the video. Both of these shoes I got from Goodwill. I got these like uh, two months ago and I got these yesterday. These, after I bought them, I, I you know cleaned them up. I, I took the stickers off with my little uh, Scotty peeler here, but I realized that the comps on these were not so good. So I wanted to return them, but I'd already pulled the sticker off. So the problem is Goodwill won't let you return shoes if they don't have the stickers on them. And their stickers are like the kind of like this. Like if you try to pull them off, like they're gonna basically fall apart on you. So I'm gonna use this Scotty peeler to peel the stickers off the bottom of these shoes and put them back on these shoes. It's not stealing, both of these shoes came from the same Goodwill. I'm just, I want to return these and I took the tag off already. So I'm just transferring the tag. Okay, so on this one, basically you just take the Scotty peeler and peel right. You kind of push down as far as you can and just make sure, kind of just work underneath it Just like that. And then we can take it and just stick it anywhere on this shoe. Push it down. And there we go. I already did it to this shoe. So now these shoes have stickers back on them and I will return these and uh, get my money back or get store credit. So Cool deal. Let's go to Goodwill. I think I have to go in the retail store here to return stuff. But then after I return it, get my credit, I'll take my credit over to the bins. Man, it's really bright out here. So let's go into the bins and see what we can find today. It's not half off or anything. It's full price, $1.39 a pound. But uh, there should still be some stuff in here. Oh, right there. Oh, man. There's no bins. Ma'am, are you using this? No. No, okay. Could I, could I grab a, a liner for me? Thank you so much. brace but it's like I can just tell this is worth money the Varus I'm definitely definitely gonna get that see even with all these people in here like most of these people are looking for stuff for themselves so they have no idea what's worth money on eBay so like even I can come in here on days like this where it's super busy and like 100 people in here with no buggies available, but I can still find profitable items because I'm not looking for the same things as everyone else. Hey! Kids are so cute. I need some more AV cables. I can get these. I always pick these up at the bins, these AV cables, just because uh, they're so cheap to I'm going to use them for all my VCRs and stuff like that. It's another Schmidt workwear. I don't see any stains or anything. Yeah, zips up. I'll get that. I don't know what Schmidt brings, but probably, I don't know, like 30, 40 bucks at least. It's really, it feels really quality made. 
little connect for an Xbox 360. Two connects for an Xbox 360. I'm not sure these are worth a ton of money, but getting them at the bins is probably worth it. button-up vest. Cool details on the buttons. No stains. No rips. And it's super light, so it's probably less than a dollar. I'll get that. Checked out. I got all that stuff for $13.90. Um, I think just that women's work jacket should sell for like $30 at least. So I already doubled my money just on that, and then everything else is free. Thirty bucks. Mm, nope. Check that out. Vintage Magnavox, Magnavox boombox. And stuff rattling around in there. Vintage, but it's sick. Good. How are you? Oh, you saw them. Hmm? Oh yeah, the overalls. What are the, what would be the price on these? Uh, they'd be rung up as a jumper, which is six fifty. That's worth it. Yeah. Cool. I don't think it's vintage, but it's cool. Yeah. You're lucky. I, somebody hit them and I found them. So yeah. It was meant for you. Meant for me. There you go. Because I was like, oh, these should be over here. They put them on the end of display. Yeah. A lot of people don't look at the ends. Like, I, I Like, that's where some of the best stuff is. That's where I put the best stuff. Okay, okay. So, you know, this is trade secret. That's where I put the best stuff. If yeah. I find a leather jacket, I put it on the end. There you go. If I find a really nice shirt or, you know. Cool overalls. Hunting overalls, anything, I hang them on the end. So, always look. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Got to look at the end. Okay, just checked out, but now it's now it's raining. Let's try to make it a good trip. That's fun. Oh, that dude's window. That dude's window is rolled down. I think the most interesting thing I found in the bins was definitely this knee brace. It looks like new. These things are like two to three hundred dollars. And I've saw, I think there's one pre-owned listed for like 70, 60 or 70. I don't, I'll put, I'll put comps on the screen there. Um, it's, it's just, it's like, it prevents like hyper ex extending the knee, I guess. I don't really know anything about knee braces, but I know that you know, stuff made out of, I mean, it looks like it's made out of, like, carbon or or something. It just looks like a really well-made knee brace. So, I'm probably going to list this for, like, 50 to 60 bucks, like I said, plus shipping, and uh, see what happens. Then I got this cool little coffee cup warmer for myself. Let's plug it in and see if it works. Okay. The light turns on. Let's see if it gets warm. Let's get warm. It works. Cool. I, I drink coffee at my desk, but... My cup is so big that like before I can drink all the coffee it gets cold. So I've actually been looking for one of these for a couple weeks now. So cool deal to find it at the bins. Got two of these Xbox 360. Got two of these Xbox 360 connects. Um, I have an Xbox 360 so I'll plug these in to make sure they work. 
Um, I don't think they're worth a ton of money. Mummy. I don't think they're worth a ton of money, probably like $15 to $18 each. Uh, but even if I sell one for $13 in profit or $14 in profit, that pays for the whole bins haul. And also these should be pretty easy to ship. Just throw them in a little long, long box like that and send them off. Pick up these Nike, I think these are Nike Vapor um, shin guards for kids. Good condition. I mean, obviously used, but in good condition. Um, I'll probably throw these on auction, 99 cents, and maybe get five bucks out of them. Eat really light to ship. Throw these in a, in a like eight by six by four box. First class all day long. I got this cool vest. It's like leather, leather button up vest. It reminds me of like a, a cowboy costume or something, but it's not, it's only leather on the front. The back is like a nylon or what, what, a, what is this? Yeah, the back is nylon. Um, but still pretty cool and it was super lightweight so it probably didn't add that much to my total anyway uh but again it's got these really cool buttons cool uh de cool detail in the buttons there i'm either gonna put this on auction starting at like 99 cents and sell it for 10 12 bucks or so or i might wait and list it for like a halloween costume like if people want to be a cowboy and they need a cowboy vest i might could maybe get 15 to 20 for it at that point um but we'll we'll see this I'll, I'll think about this and let you know what i'm gonna do with that then the last bin item was this uh schmidt women's workwear jacket um i don't think it's worth a ton of money like i said maybe maybe 30 40 bucks or so um but i'm not gonna add it uh, i'm not gonna list it right now i'm just gonna wash it and throw it in this closet back here with all my other winter stuff and uh probably list it mid-august mid to late august or so uh but we'll see and then the only item i got from the retail store for these levi's i think they're women's but they kind of look like they'd fit me don't they oh yeah <laughs> they may fit me if i don't wear pants underneath them sort of fit me perfectly they fit me perfectly Man, my corn, my corn's looking good this year. Got a bunch of rain and got them, got them stalks, stalks just to grow it. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to to keep these, even though they do fit me perfectly. And I just, I feel like it was destiny that I found them, but I'm not going to keep them. Uh, but I have never seen Levi overalls before. I don't, I've never seen them at department stores or anything. So I'm assuming that you'd have to go to like a Levi store, like a where they only sell Levi products to get them. So I need to look up comps. I'll put some put some comps right here. Assuming new, these are over $100 because new Levi's at Levi stores, just jeans are like 80. So um, I'm assuming these are over 100 retail. So I imagine I can probably get like 50 to 75 for them. But uh, we'll see. They're women's size 16. I think that's what the tag says. So now I know what size I wear in women's clothing. That's cool. That's a weird feeling. Yeah. So that's everything I got today. But I, I wasn't super happy with that haul. I felt like I could have got some, some better stuff. So I want to take some time to show you some stuff I picked up over the last few weeks. Um, obviously, I don't film every time I go into a thrift store. I mean, I thrift pretty much every day. Uh, but a lot of times when I'm not filming is when I find some really cool stuff. So I've got, I don't know, like 15 things or so over here that I'm going to show you. Um, just cool stuff I found over the last two to three weeks thrifting that... Some of them are high profit items. Some of them are just cool items that I just want to share with you guys. So let's get into that. This is a little pop figure, Abraham from uh, The Walking Dead. I've never bought pop figures before, not retail arbitrage, not at thrift stores or anything. But I went to a Goodwill yesterday and they had um, they had a couple like popular figures, <laughs> popular. Uh, and I, this was like the first one I looked up because I was like, oh, Abraham, he was, if you don't know The Walking Dead, Abraham was a really popular character on the show and he died like, three seasons ago. Um, so I looked it up and this is vaulted, which means they're, they're not making this anymore. And I just uh, asked, it was in the glass case up front. So I just asked the cashier if I could see it and she took it out. I scanned the barcode and uh, on the eBay, they're going for like $35. I think it was like 30 to 35 bucks. And then the other day I got this cool uh, North Face Wasatch backpack, really, really good condition. Usually if backpacks look good on the outside, you open it up and there's like melted candy or something on the inside. But this one looks really great inside and outside. Um, and it's a great time of year for it. You know, it's back to school seasons like next month. So I'm going to list, I think I've already listed this actually. Um, I think I was asking like 35 bucks, 30, 35 bucks. Uh, but yeah, I should, shouldn't have any problem selling this. And I paid 575 for this at Goodwill. 
this thing, uh, I did not know what it was, uh, but I scanned it on the Amazon app and it looks like it had a payout of like 30, 35 bucks or so. And this was $3 and 92 cents. But when I looked into it further and realized what it actually does, it's like, so you plug, you plug your modem into one of these and plug this into the wall. And then through the, the cords in the wall, you take the other one. This is like a two pack of things. You take the other one, plug it into the wall, and then you can plug an Ethernet cable from that one into your laptop. So like when I do my live videos, usually I run a really long Ethernet cord from my modem to my laptop, which is like two rooms away. But now with this, I could just plug a modem into the wall and plug the laptop into the wall, and it connects the internet through the electrical cords in the wall, which is really interesting. So considering it's really useful for me, and I mean, it would be like a $25 profit or so, but I might just keep this. Um, I looked inside, tested it, everything works fine. Um, but I might keep it. But again, only paid $3.92 for it. And a pretty cool item there, really useful. And I picked up these Tactical 511 uh, Black Combat Boots. These are men's size uh, 11 and a half. Really, really good condition. No major wearing at all. Um, really cool boots. Really, really cool. Um, I saw Tactical 511 and got excited because that brand is usually like a big bolo for me. Um, but after I looked up comps on these, they're only like, I think 60 bucks new. Um, so I might only get like 35 to 40 for these, but still a, a cool sale, cool sale here. And I paid uh, $8.50 for those. Found this at the Goodwill, the same Goodwill as that pop figure. This is a Nordic Ware egg waffle pan, whatever the heck that is. Uh, I saw that it was $4.94 and then it has the original price stuck up here of $50. So I'm like, hey, it's new in the package, let me scan it. Um, I scanned it on eBay first, and eBay, these are listed anywhere from like $45 to $60 just for this <laughs> dumb waffle pan. I do not know why, um, but I plan on listing it uh, new, new, like, because it's not open box or anything, like it's totally sealed, never used. So I'm just going to pull that sticker off, um, list it new for probably $45, like $44.99 plus shipping, because uh, it's kind of heavy. I mean, it's like a, a metal pan, so... $44.99 plus shipping, um, and again, I paid $4.94 for it. Got this shirt. Um, I do. I buy a lot of clothes, and most of the time they're just pretty standard stuff. Um, but I was really interested in this jersey. It looks like a, I don't, I, I didn't know if it was Red Sox or White Sox, but it has Chicago on the sleeve. It's all embroidered. I don't know anything about this. It's just, it's like a, it feels like a vintage jersey. It's got a big Sox logo. The brand is Mirage. Mirage 2XL. Um, and then it's got Cooperstown Collection written on the back. And no number on the back, just blank. Um, so like I said, I don't really know anything about it. I just thought it was cool looking. It was $4.75. Um, so I figured I could maybe get like 40 bucks for it. So not a huge, huge buddy maker, but just an interesting, I'm excited to like take photos of this and make it look good and sell it to somebody who thinks this is as cool as I do. So I found this Toomey backpack. It's got like, an, uh, like a thing here that says WOH. I'm assuming that's somebody's like monogram or something. Um, so I'm not sure how that will affect the value, but also I have to get this fixed. It's the stitching is coming open right here on the zipper and also the back pack strap is ripped. So this was like only like $3.50. And I knew that if I could pay like a tailor, you know, 20 to 30 bucks to fix the seams on everything, I could still probably get a hundred bucks for this um, as long as it's fixed properly. So took a chance on this just because other than that stuff, it's in really good condition. I mean, it's not, it's awesome. And I've found that too many backpacks tend to sell a little bit better than like duffel bags and like garment bags. I don't know, we'll see. I'll let you know the status of this, but I was really excited when I found it. I found this clock. It's a Carlson, move that, uh, Carl, Carlson clock. I can't find the exact comp on this, but I found other Carlson brand clocks that were selling for a hundred to $150, like the mid-century style clocks. Um, so again, I can't find this exact, this exact model, but it looks really interesting. Um, I'm going to throw it up and, you know, use a bunch of cool, like popular keywords, mid-century modern, stuff like that, retro, uh, and I don't know, maybe get 40 to 50 bucks for it. I think it's pretty cool. It's battery operated. Um, everything looks good on the inside. So 
but we'll see. I just thought it was really interesting. And this was uh, $2.92. And then at the bins the other day, I found this North Face camping backpack. Uh, really good condition. It's got like the little side straps and everything. I've got this on auction right now. Um, no bids. I started the bidding at $15 um, or a buy it now price of like 50. So hopefully, you know, I, I paid for like three bucks for it at the bin. So hopefully I can get, you know, 40 at least. But if the bidding stops at like 25 or 30, whatever, I'll be fine with that. But really good condition. All the zippers work, um, no holes or anything. So pretty cool, pretty cool find here at the bins. We got these, ooh, we got these Solomon snow boots. I actually picked these up at a garage sale like two months ago and I was gonna wait till winter to list them, but I got impatient. So I went ahead and listed them for, I think I listed these for a hundred um, and uh, they're on sale right now at like 75. But they've got a few watchers, really good condition. I mean, it looks like they were maybe worn like one year, like one winter season, if that. Um, these are men's size 12, 12 and a half. And I paid, I got these and a North Face uh, like snowboarding jacket for five bucks. So uh, I'm assuming I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I got two dollars and fifty cents into these. So good pick up here in my book. Uh, Haley and her mom and I went thrifting the other day, and Haley actually found these. These uh, these are Grey's Anatomy soft walk like nursing clogs, really bright like rainbow fish scale pattern. I don't I don't know. Um, but it looks like sold comps on these are anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks used. So good pickup for Haley there. We paid $6.50 for these. And these are women's size, uh, women's size six. So a little bit smaller, but still should sell pretty, pretty well. I'm excited. I found this. I didn't look up comps in the store just because I really like this item. I think this was like $2.92. But this is a peanut M&M dispenser. So... You pull, you pull the lever and the peanuts come out of the bottom and land on the little carpet down here. And you put the peanuts in in the back. I just thought this was cool. I know peanut, like M&M, uh, the peanut M&M guy is kind of a collectible item. So I was hoping this would be worth like 20 to 25 bucks, but apparently it's not. <laughs> it's listed, I think for like 15 or $18 right now, plus shipping. We'll see, if it doesn't sell, I might just keep it just cause I like it. It's kind of cool. It looks like me. Then the last item of this haul, I'm sorry, this video is really long. Last item is this uh, 12 quart Instapot Lux. And I got this for $7.92. I'm probably gonna keep this because we've been wanting one of these for a while, uh, but I have no idea how to use it. So I'm gonna have to read that manual and then figure it out. But we're excited to incorporate it into our daily cuisine. So that's the haul for the day, guys. And before we, before I get out of here, I want to do one more thing. So a couple videos ago, I gave you guys my P.O. box and I told you, you know, send me letters, whatever, and I'll read them on the show or, or do something, do something for you. So like two days later, I got this letter in the mail uh, and it was from my friend Carson and, and, and friends. <laughs> and they said, uh, happy Hanukkah, Josh. That's from a uh, friend, Maddie. Uh, hi, Josh from Carson, Mary Chrysler. Aloha from Michaela. We are your biggest fans. Um, so I don't know the context of this letter and I don't know what uh, what any of that means, but they did send me a letter and I said, first letter I get, it will go on the back wall. So I'm a man of my word. Now it's gotta stay up there forever because that's what I said. Uh, but then the other day I checked my PO box again and I got a letter from a real person. Uh, this is from Scott McCurtry. McCurtry, the aka the Swift Seller on YouTube. I will link his channel into the description. Um, go check it out. He's a reseller. He's uh, he's gonna start posting more videos soon, and uh, he's a really nice guy. Let me read read his note that he said here. Hey Josh, I hope this is your first piece of fan mail. Sorry Scott, it wasn't, but it, real real fan, not friends. So real official internet fan. I appreciate it. I've been watching your videos for some time now. Before you reach the thousand subs mark. You're very funny and you make your videos so easy to watch. I love learning from everyone on YouTube. The reselling community is a good support group to stay motivated. And I totally agree with that. I have a YouTube channel as well, but it's hard to find the time to edit video and post my content. We have chatted in your comment box and in live chats. I hope you will check me out as well. Keep up the good work and I look forward to more of your videos. Say hello to your dog for me. I love seeing pets on videos. Your fellow reseller, Scott, McCur Scott McCurtry, 
aka the Swift Seller. Scott, thank you so much for the for the handwritten letter, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I know you took time out of your day to write that, and it cost you like 50 cents to uh, to send it to me. So if you guys want to send me letters um, to maybe put some on the wall or read them in the in the video, uh, there's my PO box right there. And uh, feel free to, to send away. I really, really appreciate everything I get from you guys. Um, it's awesome. It's, it's really, really cool. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate your time. Uh, again, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Uh, go eat a hamburger. Go eat a hot dog. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.